I'm an early riser. I like to start the day very early. That's how I've learned to go about my work. I've always been interested in art, but growing up in a Ghanaian home, it wasn't really part of the conversation. It was just considered as a hobby and not something you could pursue as a career. I still had this deep conviction anyway that I was going to be an artist. And so it was only right that after uni when I completed my degree in construction, I would make the decision and take to art full time. The work that I do is an effort to understand the human experience. I explore human interaction with chairs and the residual memories and history that are embedded within them. It was fascinating for me to find how the chair, a simple object expressly designed and manufactured for sitting, while being used for this purpose is able to become a repository of emotions and experiences. I'm interested in this concept of how the chair as an everyday object is easily overlooked, and yet its absence is intimately felt. The idea of how the condition of the chair and its material compositions are able to start conversations around class, sustainability, and human advancement. In my work, chairs take center stage. Life is extended to this mundane and inanimate object through placement, displacement and repetition. The chair demonstrates its character. It dominates the space and competes with how finished human figures. Every day I spend in the studio is really a continuous process of researching, exploring and documenting in the form of large paintings and writings. <laughs> 